Hello everyone in this video on the occasion of 75 years of existence of World Health Organization we will explore the history of WHO and its contributions to global health from its establishment in 1948 to the present day WHO has played a crucial role in shaping public health policies and addressing major health challenges worldwide Aftermath of World War II in 1945 diplomats from around the world gathered in San Francisco to form the United Nations they recognized that throughout modern history there had been insufficient collaboration between countries to control the spread of dangerous disease across the world together they decided on the need for a global organization overseeing global health thus WHO was created The WHO constitution was adopted by the International Health Conference held in New York in 1946 and signed by the representatives of 61 states. WHO established the first ever global disease tracking service in 1947. Information was transmitted via telex which helped countries to take necessary measures in controlling the spread of diseases. On 7th April 1948 WHO's constitution came into force and a date we now celebrate every year as World Health Day. This year's theme was Health for All, which reminds us of the significance of equitable access to health services. The first World Health Assembly opened in the Palais des Nations, Geneva, on 24th June 1948. Since then the assembly has been held annually and serves as a platform for all the WHO member states to discuss global health issues. The great era of discovery of antibiotics begins in 1950 and WHO begins advising countries on the responsible use. In 1952 Jonas Salk developed the inactivated polio virus vaccine given by the injection which paved the way for mass global campaigns facilitated by countries WHO and other partners that have led to the near eradication of polio Later in 1961 Albert Sabin developed the attenuated live virus vaccine given orally The World Health Assembly establishes the first international health regulations in 1969 which represents an agreement between WHO member states to work together to prevent and respond to acute public health risks and have the potential to cross borders and threaten people worldwide. The special program of research, development and research training in human reproduction was created at WHO in 1972. It is the sole body within the UN system with a global mandate to carry out research into sexual and reproductive health and rights. In 1974, WHO founds the expanded program on immunization to bring life-saving vaccines to all the world's children. This program has helped in saving millions of lives across the world. In 1975, WHO establishes and begins hosting the special program for research and training in tropical diseases. The program provides tools to tackle neglected diseases and to increase research capacity in disease endemic countries. By 2016, five of the eight diseases that the program was created to support research on are close to the elimination. Two years later, in 1977, the first essential medicines list was published. This list outlines the medicines that a basic health system needs, and each medicine is selected based on evidence for its safety, effectiveness, and value for the money. During the International Conference on Primary Health Care in Almaty, Kazakhstan, in 1978, an aspirational goal was set for universal health coverage. In the same year, the WHO launched the Global Diarrheal Diseases Program with oral rehydration salts at its heart. By 2019, the estimated 4.6 million annual deaths from diarrhea in children under 5 had fallen to just under 3 lakh 65,000 deaths despite a 70% increase in the world's population. Following an ambitious 12-year global vaccination campaign led by the WHO, smallpox was eradicated in 1980. This was a huge achievement and a testament to the power of global collaboration. Breastfeeding is one of the most effective ways to improve child health and survival, but it can be seriously undermined by lobbying and marketing from the formula milk industry. To address industry practices that were discouraging mothers from breastfeeding, the WHO member states endorsed the International Code of Marketing Breast Milk Substitutes in 1981. Since the code was adopted the percentage of babies who are exclusively breastfed has gone up by 50%. In 
In 1983, the human immunodeficiency virus which causes AIDS was discovered. Four years later, in 1987, the first antiretroviral medication to control HIV infection and prevent it from progressing to AIDS was licensed. This prompted a shift in WHO's priorities as it became clear that HIV AIDS was a major global health threat. The Global Polio Eradication Initiative was launched in 1988. Since then, the incidence of polio has been reduced by more than 99%. In 2022, only two countries remained endemic to wild polio virus. 20 million cases of polio have been averted, and more than 1.5 million childhood deaths were prevented. At the International Conference on Population and Development held in Cairo, Egypt, in 1994, countries agreed to the adoption of a comprehensive definition of reproductive health and a recognition of reproductive rights, which was fully supported by WHO. The Integrated Management of Childhood Illness (IMCI) strategy was launched in 1995, promoting health and providing preventive and curative services for children under 5 in countries with high child mortality rates. Since then, child mortality has more than halved, dropping from 91 to 43 deaths per 1000 live births between 1990 and 2015. In 1998, WHO played a pioneering role in emergency contraception by confirming the effectiveness of levonorgestrel, which resulted in changes in regulations in many countries and its inclusion in the list of essential medicines. Since then, these pills have been licensed in over 100 countries. The Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunization was established in 1999. to overcome barriers preventing millions of children from receiving vaccines in the same year the first global strategy for the prevention and control of non communicable diseases including cancer cardiovascular diseases chronic respiratory diseases and diabetes was launched at the millennium summit in september 2000 the largest gathering of world leaders in history adopted the un millennium declaration committing nations to a new global partnership to reduce extreme poverty and setting out a series of time bound targets In 2000, the WHO Global Outbreak Alert and Response Network was established to detect and combat the international spread of outbreaks. The 26th Special Session of the United Nations General Assembly in 2001 adopts the Declaration of Commitment on HIV AIDS, addressing the HIV AIDS crisis worldwide. The Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, a new partnership and funding mechanism initially hosted by WHO in 2001, was created in collaboration with other UN agencies and major donors. In 2003, WHO launched the 3x5 initiative, which aimed to bring treatment to 3 million people living with HIV by 2005, laying the groundwork for reaching 13 million people infected with HIV with antiretroviral treatment by 2013. In the same year, the World Health Assembly unanimously adopted WHO's first global health public treaty, the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, aiming to reduce tobacco-related deaths and And diseases worldwide. The UN Road Safety Collaboration was established in 2004. WHO and the World Bank launched the first ever World Report on Road Traffic Injury Prevention. In 2004, WHO Strategic Health Operation Center was used for the first time to coordinate emergency response support following the Indian Ocean tsunami. This was a significant milestone for the organization as it showed the importance of having a centralized system to coordinate emergency response efforts. In 2005, the international health regulations were revised, giving countries clear and tested guidelines for reporting disease outbreaks and other public health emergencies to WHO. This triggered response systems to isolate and contain threats promptly. In 2006, the number of children dying before the 5th birthday declined below 10 million for the first time in recent history. This achievement was a result of several global efforts aimed at improving maternal and child health. In the same year, WHO child growth standards were launched to help every child grow in an equitable way. These standards are unique tools that define malnutrition in children under 5 years of age and are used for child growth monitoring in most countries. 
In 2008, heart diseases and stroke emerged as the world's number one killers, indicating a global shift from infectious diseases to non-communicable diseases. WHO responded to this change by launching several initiatives aimed at preventing and controlling these diseases. The world faced the first influenza pandemic since 1968 with the emergence of the new H1N1 influenza virus, which is swine flu in 2009. WHO worked with the collaborating centers and pharmaceutical industries to develop influenza vaccines in record time. In 2010, WHO issued a menu of options for raising sufficient resources and removing financial barriers so that all people, especially those with limited resources, to spend on health care have access to essential health services. The first rapid molecular test for the detection of TB was established in 2010 after decades of using only sputum smear microscopy. The new tests help diagnose TB more accurately and identify drug resistance earlier. The adoption of the Pandemic Influenza Preparedness Framework in 2011 paved the way for equitable access to countermeasures during the pandemics. For the first time, WHO member states set global targets in 2012 to prevent and control heart diseases, diabetes, cancer, chronic lung diseases, and other diseases. In 2012, the World Health Assembly adopted WHO's implementation plan on maternal, infant, and young child nutrition, which aims to improve the nutritional status of mothers and young children. The first global comprehensive mental health action plan was endorsed in 2013. More than 100 countries have used the mental health GAP action programs for the integration of mental health at primary health care level since that time. The Every Newborn Action Plan plan was endorsed in 2014 by the World Health Assembly, which presents evidence-based solutions to prevent newborn deaths and stillbirths. The Ebola outbreak in West Africa between 2014 and 2016 was the largest since the virus was first discovered in 1976. WHO declared the outbreak a public health emergency of international concern known as PHEIC. A PHEIC is defined in the International Health Regulations as 2005 as an extraordinary event which is determined to constitute a public health risk to other states through the international spread of diseases and to potentially require a coordinated international response. HIV treatment coverage expanded rapidly with well over 17 million people living with HIV on antiretroviral therapy by the end of 2015. In 2015, Cuba became the first country in the world to receive validation from WHO that it has eliminated mother-to-child transmission of HIV and syphilis. In the same year, WHO European region became the first region in the world to achieve the interruption of the indigenous malaria transmission. The first ever child-friendly formulations of anti-TB medicines, which are water-dispersible tablets, are introduced in 2015, with the goals of enhancing adherence to and, and completion of treatment and preventing the development of drug resistance. All United Nations member states adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in 2015, which outlined 17 goals consisting of 169 interconnected and ambitious targets. In 2016, the UN General Assembly adopted a political declaration on antimicrobial resistance, which led to the establishment of an ad hoc interagency coordination group on antimicrobial resistance. This group provides practical guidance to ensure global action against antimicrobial resistance. In the same year, Nigeria was long considered the global epicenter of polio virus, reported its last wild polio virus paving the way for certifying the African region free of such strains. Since then, five of the six WHO regions have been certified free of wild polio virus and two of the three wild polio virus strains have been globally eradicated. The goal of treating 1 billion people for at least one neglected tropical disease in a single year was met for the first time in 2016. By December 2022, a number of countries, territories and areas had eliminated at least one neglected tropical disease. In 2016, 16, the Global Strategy for Women's, Children's and Adolescents' Health was launched. The strategy's objectives of survive, thrive and transform aim to promote and protect health and support well-being. In the same year, the WHO announced zero cases of the Ebola in West Africa but warned that flare-ups of the disease were likely 
to continue. Countries in the region need to remain vigilant and prepared. In 2016, WHO declared that the recent association of Zika infection with clusters of microcephaly and other neurological disorders constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. In 2017, WHO publishes its first ever list of antibiotic resistant priority pathogens, a catalog of 12 families of bacteria that pose the greatest threat to human health. The list was drawn up in a bid to guide and promote research and development of new antibiotics. As part of WHO's efforts to addressing growing global resistance to the antimicrobial medicine. In the same year, the Partnership for Healthy Cities was launched. It includes 70 cities of over 300 million inhabitants in total. The partnership aims to put in place policies and programs to prevent road traffic injuries and diseases like cancer, heart diseases, diabetes and lung diseases. World leaders adopt a high-level United Nations political declaration on universal health coverage in 2019 the most comprehensive set of health commitments ever adopted at this level. In 2020, the WHO declared the global outbreak of novel coronavirus a public health emergency of international concern. The UN Statistical Commission approves a new Sustainable Development Goals indicator on bloodstream infections in 2020 due to selected antimicrobial resistant organisms. WHO is the custodian for this indicator with data provided through WHO's global antimicrobial resistance and use surveillance system. In 2020, the first oral regimen for the treatment of multidrug resistant tuberculosis was established. The new drugs replace the administration of painful injectable agents and are two to three times shorter and more effective. In the same year, the Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator partnership was launched. The global collaboration aims to accelerate the development, production and equitable access to COVID-19 tests, treatments and vaccines. At the end of December 2021, 28.7 million people were accessing antiretroviral therapy up from 7.8 million in 2010. This means that 75% of all people living with HIV were accessing treatment. WHO recommends a groundbreaking malaria vaccine for children living in the areas of moderate to high malaria transmission in 2021. It is the first vaccine against a parasite and could save tens of thousands of young lives each year. The vaccine was safe and still less to a 30% reduction in severe malaria. By the end of 2021, more than 74 million lives had been saved through tuberculosis prevention, diagnosis and treatment since 2000. Four international agencies, the Food and the Agriculture Organization, the World Organization for Animal Health, the UN Environment Programme and the World Health Organization signed a groundbreaking agreement in 2022 to strengthen cooperation to sustainably balance and optimize the health of humans, animals plants and the environment. This framework reinforces national and regional health systems and services and contributes to global health security. WHO released the fourth edition of Family Planning, a global handbook for providers in 2022. The handbook provides clinic-based health professionals with the latest guidance on providing contraceptive methods. Since its first edition in 2007, almost a million copies have been distributed around the world. As we look forward to WHO 75th anniversary year in 2023, let's be inspired by these public health successes and work together to tackle the health challenges of today and tomorrow. Together we can build a healthier and more equitable world for all. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.